Today, folks, I am a member of the committee. Somebody playing golf, look. Court. Court playing golf. Reporting you. Right, so here we are at the other side of Blumby now. There's way over there before. There's way over there where those houses are with Blumby Castle. Um, actually, you can see the, the White House in the distance there. That's where, that's where the castle is just over there. So I'm on the other side. This is the first tee here at Blumby. And as I said, I've played this course uh, several times. And once again, it's another one of these courses that has caused me much consternation um, to even get anywhere near 100. Now you almost wonder why, you all must wonder why I even bothered to play golf. Um, because I was, I was fairly, I, no, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the day out and it was a really good day out. And as I said, the score was just, you know, I always knew it was going to get beaten anyway. But it was just a great day out and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So let's see if we can find any balls today. Found one, folks. Yes, we have. It's a yellow one. What's another one of these? Jerkshire. I don't know how you pronounce that. Jerkshire. Oh, there's loads of them online. I found loads of old balls, folks. Look. <laughs> yeah, loads of them. There we go. Incredible. Fine of the day. So yes, indeed, there's all these balls. Where they come from, you must say. Well, beside me is the uh, the practice range, or the practice uh, yeah, the practice range, and all these balls must have just been dumped here because they're uh, they've obviously just been found. People have splashed them over the fence over here. There's loads of them actually left just on the uh, the drive range fairways there, just over there. Look, there's loads of them left. Right, they're everywhere now. Surely they have they have been splashed by people the way over here. Surely not, man. I can't believe that. No, I think they've just been dumped by the, the truck just there, man, surely. Oh my god, there's balls everywhere, man. I'm standing up, there's no smoke. In fact, is that somebody's golf club there? Look, somebody will be throwing their club away in frustration, look. <laughs> my goodness. Look. <laughs> great shot, man. Oh, a great shot. Coming up here, we have a walled bit with a mound. I was intrigued by these. Let's see what's up this one. I saw earlier on, they're heading my way folks, so I'll head up over that way and around the back of the course. Yeah, so there's one of these uh, walled mounds, I don't, I don't think it's an ancient mound, I, I think it's just the walls have just been built yeah, around it. At first I thought it was an ancient, one of these burial mound things, but it's not unfortunately, so never mind. Why even gave me a way back? So there's a pond. There's too much temptation. I've got one ball left. I'm going to throw it into the. Oops, I've tripped over there. I'm going to throw it into the pond. Circular route finished, folks. Back at the driving range, walked all the way down there, around there, and back up to here. Right, just to finish off there, 
must say thanks to Frankie for doing that t-shirt. He's put this, this image onto a t-shirt for me folks. So awesome mate, thank you very much for that. And Granddad as well, thank you for the uh, thing I got as well. Oh, I meant to put it on my car today, forgot. What I was tempted to do there though folks was to remember that club I saw earlier on that we launched. I, th I thought about running down and getting it because you can just get into there and uh, having a whack of a golf ball but I thought I better not. Look, this one's got a bite out of it, a bite sized chunk and it's pink inside there. So that one is a, a burner soft. Wow, a burner soft, there we go, look how awesome. my man bag right now I've uh, I've started to sort of do some origami I thought you know just sort of start folding bits of paper and then before I knew it I had constructed this I was like oh my goodness me look I've made a box so and that's uh, it's got my things in it there you know and then I made this box here which is a bit of a disaster really it's not it's not it's not it's sort of it's okay you know it's, it's, it will hold something i suppose but um i've ordered some origami paper man which is uh should be coming shortly so it's much better when you've got the this the sort of proper stuff basically you know so i'm looking forward to, to getting into making lots of boxes to put into my boxes and i, I need a bigger box to put these boxes in now you know so <laughs> look what i found man gary newman savage songs from a broken world well there you go this this is what could be happening gary newman foresaw the future man look i mean there it is it's all about desolation and you know sort of death and how we're all going to end up living in the in the sand dunes looking for like that film june remember that film june d-u-n-e um when the world comes apart there you go look it's there it's written down this this is like a, a mini sort of uh not i was gonna say bible but not bible but like you know the the guy what's his name the guy that uh foretold the future what was his name him man you know his name um nostradamus you know him that's what this is like man it's a foretelling of the future when the world falls apart what else we got here my name is ruin yep bed of thorns not game of thrones but bed of thorns um pray for the pain you say uh pray for the pain you serve goodness me they're all there there when the world comes apart god the, the end of things oh my god and i'll and it all began with you some great songs there. i haven't actually this for ages i must must give it a listen and uh, get myself into the the mood for the end of the world coming up man coming up soon to a place near you, the end of the world. Yes.
stay tuned. <laughs>